Hello everybody, The Grumpy Gamer here, otherwise known as Phil Solo. I'm here to do a official guide uh, as the event is giving out the official for free and everyone is getting that free official might have questions on the best builds for her, best weapons, best artifacts. I'll go over the talents and uh, constellations. Like my daughter who just received her first copy official today. I uh, hope this helps. Now let's take a look at her talents and go over uh, what they do. Um, this is uh, her physical damage, her normal attacks. Basically it's just five consecutive uh, shots. Um, and as you can see, as each shot goes up, more damage per hit happens. Um, this also works with her aim shot, so as you fully charge your shot, you get more damage. So as you increase the levels, you can see the percentages of these uh, go up. Second, this is her E button, her second talent. Uh, this is basically when Oz comes out, stays on the battlefield, does a, f a few damage to the enemies nearby, giving them electrical damage. Uh, you can see the attack damage there for Oz, and then when you summon Oz, there's some uh, damage that occurs to nearby enemies. Uh, and then her Midnight Phantasmagoria. Basically what this does is when she turns into Oz, flies around for a few seconds, causing electro damage, uh, electro damage um, strikes on the enemy. Uh, that's what the fallen damage is. Then you have the stellar predator. Uh, it's basically when you hit Oz with a fully charged aim shot, Oz does some AOE type damage to nearby uh, enemies of arrows. Uh, her fifth talent here, Lightning Smite, is basically if your active character on the field does an electrical related elemental reaction uh, with Oz on the field, uh, there's an additional electrical damage equal to 80% of official attack uh, caused to the enemies. And then for, this is basically her passive talent, which uh, when you do the expedition quest, it costs 25% less to do um, time consumed when you use her for one of those quests. Next up, let's go over her constellation. As you can see, my uh, official is already C6 because I pulled her uh, I think it was in the Venti banner. I pulled her C6 when I was going for a C6 Venti. Official C1 constellation is basically um, if Oz is not on the field, he has a chance of doing uh, damage because he's uh, looking over her. So he's periodically firing uh, some bolts at the enemy, dealing 22% attack of attack damage, um, officials attack. When Knight Rider, this is the E, is used, uh, an additional 200% attack as damage uh, occurs, and there's an e uh, increase to the AOE damage around, around uh, official. This one is just an increase to the level of Knight Rider, which is her E. This is uh, the best one, I think. Uh, when you do the f her Q, Phantasm of Magoria, uh, it does an increased additional attack uh, damage. Uh, and it also heals her for 20% when she comes out of the Hawk. Uh, this is just an increase to Midnight Phantasmagoria. I love saying that. 
and this extends the duration of Oz's presence on the battlefield, um, which is really good to get your DPS damage up or your support damage up on uh, official if you use her, which I recommend you do. I think she is one of the best, best characters in the game right now, and I love using her as a both a DPS and a support. Now's the fun part. Uh, let's start talking about how to build Fischl. Let's first start with her DPS weapons. Um, let me just show you what uh, weapons are available for her. So if you happen to get lucky to get Skyward Harp or the Amos Bow, these are two of the best weapons that you could put on her for DPS. Um, as you can see, this one increases the crit rate of her, so it just makes her hit stronger. I think this is the best of the two. I personally use the Amos bow, because I, one, don't like switching weapons, so I always leave one on Vinci and this one on Fischl. I have this refinement rank five, uh, and this one basically just increases her normal attack and aim shot damage uh, by a percentage. Mine just happens to be uh, max percent right now. Uh, a couple other bows. Uh, the Rust is a really good because uh, it does increase her normal attack. As you go up, uh, I have, as you can see, a lot of Rust <laughs> that I collected over to my summonings. Uh, but this increases her damage by 80% and her aim shot by 10% at refinement 5. This is probably the best 4 star DPS one that you could have um, for her DPS. Let's talk about her artifact build. Uh, if you just got her and you are struggling for artifacts, the best uh, beginner artifact combination there can be is the two piece berserker which increases her crit rate and two piece where is it the martial artist set uh, which is the increase to normal and charge attack damage uh, by 15%. Those are the two best uh, low budget beginner artifacts if you have them. You get these artifacts pretty easy, lying around at least three stars. Um, for beginners, uh, if you're a little more advanced and you are able to do the, the dungeon with blood stain Shivery in it. This two piece increases her physical damage, really helps her and her bow, as she's a bow user, of course, uh, helps her normal and her aim shots uh, tremendously. And of course, increasing her attack damage is. The Gladiator's Finale. Two piece of this increases it by 18%. Uh, this is probably her best build out there, in my opinion, uh, and if you are building it this way, your DPS uh, should improve or be high with these two two-piece sets going on. Now, if you're using Fischl as support DPS like I use her, her best weapons, uh, again, one of them is the Skyward Heart, right here, because um, it does increase the crit damage, and one of the base stats is crit rate, and for supports, you want those, in my opinion, as high as you could get, uh, especially the crit rate. Uh, the other good weapon, for her is the Stringless and the Favonius Warbow. Here is uh, the Favonius again, crit rate. 
hits have a 100% chance to generate a small amount of elemental particles which will regenerate her E and her Q higher uh, and the other one which is the stringless uh, increases the elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 24% which is again helps her burst damage when it comes to her E and her Q Using these for her support, these four star items, if you have them, are really good. Because these five star, this five star one is really hard. And the banner, uh, the Skyward Heart banner, it does end in a few days. Now to artifacts. Uh, the set I use is the Thunder and Fury artifact. Uh, as you can see, I have a four piece Thunder and Fury set on her I don't have it all maxed out yet I'm still uh, in the process of getting her to 90 I have her at 80 right now uh, and I'm still working on her artifacts I have a couple crit rate up the attack and the elemental mastery uh, elemental recharge is kind of what you want the most on the sands which is this one which I do have and I have been uh, but I got my sub stats aren't as good but I'm still gonna get max this one out for her until I get something better goblet this is the one you want the electro damage um, my sub stats are okay because I got energy recharge and attack I'd rather have something else here for the substats like crit rate or crit damage would have been more ideal but the way this game goes this is as good as, as it's going to be for right now the circlet is the attack percent uh, I have elementary mastery because this thing right here is just like in my opinion a god artifact <laughs> that I got, I got the energy recharge, the crit rate, the crit damage, and the percent attack on her, which in my opinion is very good. Feather is just attack, and of course the flower is the hit points. Uh, but basically what the set does, the two piece electrical damage bonus for her E and her Q, are increased by 15% and then this uh, the four piece set increases the damage caused by overload electro charge and superconduct by 40% 40, 40 trigger and such effects decreases her elemental skill cooldown by one second uh, which is a big deal for using her as a support so you can pop over to her uh, more times using her E and Q For the newer player that just got official or is lacking the artifacts to properly build her, uh, the best set to use on her is the Energy Recharge set, which I do believe is the one below Gambler, the Scholar set. Uh, the energy, the set is probably her best set for uh, support. Um, if you could uh, get the four piece it's always better but this two piece energy recharge always has her Q up well it won't always be up but you'll have the Q more times than not using her and then with the four piece if you're using her she gains the, the whole party three energy to all parties who have a bow or a catalyst weapon in your team so keep that in mind uh, but in my opinion, the two-piece here is what you're aiming for if you're a newer player. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this short uh, build video for official. I hope you uh, please subscribe, and if you want, please join the Discord. 
uh, which is located in the notes below. Uh, and if you're around for December 1st, I will be summoning for a C6 Zhongli, who will probably be the best character in the game as a support for Geo. It will definitely be the best, best Geo character in the game. Um, but he'll probably be a, the best support in the game uh, as well. Uh, maybe main DPS. But I will be going for a C6 on December 1st. And if you come on by, I'm doing a few giveaways uh, for the channel. Um, so I hope to see you there. Have a good one, and I will post to you later.